Military, paramilitary and civilian officials of Western countries have ended a training in Abuja on improved ways to protect civilians in conflict situations. The dynamics of conflicts place a severe burden on security forces and humanitarian agencies. Stephanie Sen reports. According to the UN, civilians account for nearly 90% of wartime casualties. This situation poses significant challenges to security forces responsible for protection and for humanitarian workers. His Excellency, the Ambassador... This training in Abuja organized jointly by the Martin Luther Agua International Leadership and Peacekeeping Center, the Japanese government, and the UNDP has enhanced participants' ability to protect civilians during conflict. You have learned the importance of humanitarian principles, international laws, causes and nature of conflicts in Africa, the United Nations legal policy frameworks on protection of civilians, mission life cycle and integrated assessment planning, tactical decision making process, mission analysis and coordination with various stakeholders to ensure the safety of those affected by conflict. Japan's commitment to civilian protection is reflected in our financial support for UN peacekeeping operations and other initiatives aimed at protecting civilians. Armed conflict often lead to devastating civilian casualties, massive displacements, and violations of human rights and international humanitarian laws. The challenges are very obvious. And except you have the capacity and you are empowered, you might find it difficult to execute your mission in protecting civilians. In addition to conflict mitigation, the participants are expected to be impartial in carrying out their assignments. Sifon ACN, TVC News, Abuja.